we present some new features of the Lynx and Elgate 6.0 release. The device overview is now divided into groups of devices to get a better overview. Also the new LROC 400 room controller models, the LEOP Air devices and the new LDALI models are now supported in the Lynx configurator. The standardized motor interface protocol, short SMI, is now supported. SMI allows motor control by steps instead of position estimation by measuring motor runtime. The LoyTech devices calculate the position of the blinds and provides this information as data points. All LoyTech devices with an extension port can now be extended by the LSMI interface and be connected to an SMI bus. The Lynx configurator provides device templates to create the data points for an SMI device. Precise approaching of positions, feedback of the current position and diagnostics are some of the features of drives with SMI. To commission the device, you can either assign the device manually by entering the serial number Or you can scan the SMI bus and make the assignment in the drop down box. The web interface also supports the calibration of SMI devices. You can fill in the parameters manually or use the calibration wizard instead. The wizard will drive the motor and calculate the necessary parameters in five simple steps. The data point model in LoyTech devices has been extended with a manual override function. On the web interface and on the LCD display, data point values can be overridden to manual values. If an override value is set, the running control logic no longer affects the data point value. Neither does network communication. The data point state changes to overridden and is in effect until it is removed again by the user. The number of overridden data points is shown on the device info page. A detailed list can be found in the menu statistics or by simply clicking on the overridden data points information. The length of alarm messages has been extended to 250 characters. This comes in combination with a new path placeholder that can identify the data point path in alarm messages. This is beneficial for mass engineering alarm conditions on data points that have the same name but are located in different path locations. For analog data points, it's now possible to send different alarm messages for a low limit and a high limit alarm. LoyTech devices now support the BACnet event message text property of an alarmed object, which allows retrieving the messages also after a reboot of an alarm client. Alarm locks have also been updated to support the new maximum length.
The entire CSV import export engine of the configurator has been revisited. Special export options with fixed columns for CEA 709, Modbus and other technologies have been replaced by a general CSV engine that is able to configure columns for any set of data point properties. Default property sets have been added, which can be modified by the user and saved for later use in a comfortable export editor. In this example, the data points will be exported and then modified in Excel. In this case, I simply change the description and the default value. Also new data points can be created. By omitting the identification columns like UID and ID path in the CSV file, the create mode is active when importing the data point CSV. Data points are then created relative to the folder on which the import was started. In addition to the already shown features of the configurator, Eldali supports some extra features. For the BACnet Eldali models, the state of a button device input can now be forwarded to a BACnet binary input object as an alternative to directly control DALI lights too. You just have to configure the BACnet interface to support the button objects. All buttons of a BM1 can now be set to the function network data point and the BACnet objects of their respective button contacts will appear in the data points tab. A DALI protocol analyzer was added to the Lynx configurator and is available via the DALI installation tab. Logging can be started and stopped. Filters allow showing only relevant traffic. Protocol logs can be stored in a disk file in CSV format. The protocol analyzer is also available in the web interface of the Eldali via the Dali Statistics web interface. A DALI scene configuration tab was added to the Lynx configurator. Similar to the DALI scene web interface introduced in LDALI firmware version 5.2, it also supports color scenes with color temperature and changeable light color. Scenes can be configured online and offline. Detailed information to the Lynx and Elgate 6.0 release can be found in the readme file of the Lynx configurator 6.0, the readme file of the firmware 6.0 of the different devices and in the manual in the chapter 
What's new in Lynx and Elgate 6.0?